All right, I'm uh, doing my first true sauerkraut fermentation, and I thought I'd show it from beginning to end. I didn't find a whole lot of videos <clears throat> that showed the result. So I'm gonna show how to do it, and also I'm gonna show um, what it looks like when it's done. I did do the, the quick fermentation method where you do it in an airtight jar, but I'm already running out of it, and I liked it so much um, that I decided to buy a harsh pot. I got the seven and a half liter. Um, I'm hoping six small to medium heads will fit in there, we'll find out. Um, I just, I don't like dairy and that's the reason I don't eat um, <clears throat> yogurt. If I do eat yogurt, it's gonna be raw and I cannot find raw yogurt in it and goat goat's milk yogurt and I can't find that anywhere. I can find raw goat's milk but not yogurt. And I prefer the sauerkraut anyways. I can eat it with every meal. It's easy, <clears throat> super healthy. Um, anyways, here I'll show you what I'm gonna be using. Seven and a half liter harsh pot. If you don't know what they are, it has a nice little airtight um, ring here where you put water in. It makes it airtight so no air gets in or out. Um, I have six heads of organic cabbage. I got Himalayan sea salt, which is all I use now. I love it. I'll never go back to regular sea salt or iodized salt or any of that. Um, caraway seeds, some boiled water that I'd boiled to kill off the chlorine and whatever else, maybe added a little salt to it. And then a mandolin. I used my knife the last time and my arm was killing me at the end after four or five heads. So. Figure just make it easy. Go with my mandolin, brought it from my mother-in-law. So, um, anyways, here we go. I'm gonna start doing this. Let's get it going. All right, so yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the mandolin sucked. It was taking forever. So I decided to borrow my sister's food processor. And it's not cutting in exactly as I like. It's kind of small, but I'm fine with it. It's not too bad. It's still gonna come out just fine. I like it small anyways, as opposed to big. So what I've been doing is I've been packing it real tight. I first salted it with the Himalayan salt, and now I'm packing it tight. Um, I've done about three, three of the heads, and I'm about a third of the way up, or I'll probably be about a third or a half. I don't think I'm gonna get all six in here because we need to leave a little space for it to bubble. So, I'm gonna keep going and uh, see how it comes out. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm, I've got a baggie here, put my hand over it, and I'm just stuffing this cabbage down really tight. You want it as tight as can be to uh, release all the liquids. Once it's all in there, I'm gonna keep pushing it even more and more. Hopefully I'll get a lot of liquid out of it. Liquid out of it. I really don't want to add any liquid if I can avoid it, just because, I don't know, I feel like the natural juices are are better. But um, we'll see. We'll see how much we get out of it. Okay, so I let it sit. I ended up having to add a little bit of water just because it, it didn't quite <clears throat> let all the juices out. And I was punching it as hard as I could, but um, I think it's going to be just, just fine like that. So what we're going to do is put these stones in. And that should be just fine. Push those down a little bit. I'm gonna have a little bit of <clears throat> cabbage float on the top, but we can wipe that off before we eat it. That's perfect right there. It's underwater about an inch and a half, two inches. All right, so we'll check this in, uh, I don't know, three weeks, a month maybe. <laughs> All right, so the last thing you do is you add water around the lip. I'm probably gonna spill a lot of it, but that's all right. Yeah, I'm spilling it all over the place. I'm using the wrong thing. <laughs> 